And today, Florida's 15-week abortion ban is facing its first legal test just days after the high court overruled Roe v. Wade. Local 10's Christina Vasquez joins us live from Northwest Miami Dade with more to explain. Christina. So when the Supreme Court made this decision to end federal abortion rights, it essentially kicked the issue back to the states, right? Giving states more power to determine for the women in their own state what access to abortion will look like from state to state. So you take here in Florida, where you may recall the governor signed this 15 week abortion ban back in April. It is set to take effect this Friday, you may remember, but there were two lawsuits filed against it. Remember, this is a law that when originally it was previously 24 weeks, it pushed back to 15 weeks, but it also does not include exemptions for rape, incest, or human trafficking. Now, of the two lawsuits, one of them, the plaintiffs include Planned Parenthood. And one of the arguments they're making is that this new 15 week abortion ban in Florida is unconstitutional, citing a privacy clause within the state constitution. Now, underway right now is a hearing in Leon County. The reason, again, the plaintiffs in this lawsuit, they filed on June 1st uh, to the court petitioning for a temporary injunction. So what's happening in front of Judge Cooper's uh, courtroom today is both sides, that would be the plaintiffs, and in this case, the state defendant. Uh, there's witnesses on the stand. It's a hearing to articulate and kind of litigate some of the arguments they have made in their motions on this issue. It is unclear at this point whether or not after the end of today, the judge plans to issue a ruling on this. Meantime, I did reach out to the executive office of the governor and they told me this morning that Governor Dan uh, Ron DeSantis is and always has been pro-life. Also, quote, our office is confident that this law will ultimately withstand all legal challenges. Back here live, as a friendly reminder, Florida's law was modeled after Mississippi's, which was center to that Supreme Court ruling.